Yep, it sure is. Guys, this Android watch is fully waterproof. Yep. Not only that, you have complete control of the screen as well. You can go anywhere you want. Don't touch the buttons when it's wet, but you can go over here and even do activities if you'd like to. Yeah. Little bit of water on the front, but there we go. Okay. Which one is this? Well, let's find out. Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com, introducing you today to a brand new Android standalone 7.1.1 smartwatch from Rogbid. Wear me, embrace the world. Indeed. It's called the Brave, the Rogbid Brave. We will be looking at that, but first, check out the the watch. Here you go. We remove the cover and reveal something you have already seen. Yep, don't change the channel just yet because I got some more information for those of you that already own a Rollme S08, which is 100% identical to the Rogbid Brave. I mean, right down to the watch faces. Uh, yeah, spoiler alert, I won't spend a lot of time on it on the video, but I do want to show you something that might interest you either way, whichever watch you've got. First, this particular one comes from TomTop. You're not going to find it everywhere. The Roguebit Brave 4G LTE smartwatch with the 3GB, 32GB configuration, and yes, IP68 waterproof, the only one, well, this and the S08 that we've seen that really are uh, what they say they are, uh, are waterproof and people are diving with them. We're getting comments back going, it's the real deal. So if you want a waterproof Android watch, this is it. I've got the spec sheet here for you, and I'm just going to let you read it on the screen, freeze frame it if you want, because I really want to move on to the next page, because power uh, is, is really important for Android smartwatches. And as you know, these things come with a little power dock. But did you know that you can buy an extra one? Mm-hmm. You ever heard of these guys? Probably not. They're in the background. But that's the company that makes all of this stuff. K K Kirin? Kirin? Shirin? The Shirin official store lists the 2200 milliamp hour charging dock available for only 30 bucks. So, yeah, in the box you get one, but if you think you're going to need more than one, you're planning that big camping trip out in the wilderness and you really want to take your watch with you. At 30 bucks a clip, I'd stock up on three or four of these puppies, and then you're really good to go. Get them all charged, take them with you, and have fun. All right, you can leave now. Unless you want to learn a few more tricks about these Android watches, and this one in particular, I'll be giving you stuff you have not seen in the S08 review. However, if you do want to see all the workings of this thing inside and out, check out the uh, S08 review for the details. But then come on back and pick this puppy up from... Um, from TomTop if you'd like to because, uh, yeah, you saw it here, right? Okay, in the box, we have got two charging things. This is a uh, charging cable here that you can put directly on the watch and charge it from any USB uh, connector anywhere, which is great. And then you've got this charger with it's a standard uh, USB to... Um, micro USB, not USB-C, that's going to be used to charge, I know I'm hiding something, to charge the dock. And the dock is in here. And it looks like this. And that's the one for 30 bucks. It's branded, got Rogbid rog in, the, in the center of it. The little alignment pin is there for the little pin here. All of that is available and uh, works. And yes, these are interchangeable with the S08 as well. And that thing, that thing you see in the other v uh, video is what we use to remove the back of the, uh, the, the cover, the SIM cover on the back of the watch with a suction cup that after you turn it, 
Oh, wow, it really sticks. Oh, cool. I can hang it on a uh, clothes. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, well, yeah, I, I tend to treat my stuff rough. Anyway, uh, let's turn it on, shall we? I've already charged it up. No need to, like, clear everything. Did you want to see the manual? Okay, while it's booting, we'll go through the manual. There's a Chinese side. There's an English side. And 13, 14, holy cow. Wow. Where's the pages start? Okay, so I'm looking at page numbers here. And I think they go straight from Chinese page 12 to English page 13, and it goes across. So we will pick up right here the user's manual and uh, page through it. And oh, yeah, I should freeze frame it so it focuses. And that way you can come back and read it at your leisure. I know this is about the time everybody bails out or scoots forward. And I understand, I would too, if I'm not interested in this. But believe me, that one time, you're going to need the manual. You're going to be glad to remember that Mr. Tix, smartwatchtix.com, just search on the little magnifying glass for the watch that you want to see the manual on, and it'll be there. Guaranteed. Always. Yeah. Okay, we're done with that. We're booted up. I love that watch face. It's a custom watch face. It's been available on the web, and this watch has several of them in here, and I don't know that they've done it legitimately with working with the developers, but not much I can do about it other than tell you that they are here. They're all the same ones on the S08 as well as on uh, the Brave, um, so nothing new here. Custom faces are available. We showed you a lot of Alrod's faces in the past. You can create your own. Now, I don't generally cover this, but you can create your own watch face here. I can go into the camera. I can take a picture of my hand. There you go. I'm going to select that one. I can position it around my fingers, I guess, like so, and check that. And there you go. Now I've got, and I could move that around someplace else, but now I got a watch face of my hand. So those of you who got pictures you'd like to make into watch faces, really simple process to do. When you're set up and you're on the internet, uh, which I am, you can hit that little plus sign at the very end of all of these, and it'll go to the Chinese server that feeds all Android smartwatches, and it'll show you a download. Uh, list or view of all kinds of watches. There's the coronavirus ones they put up recently. There's Christmas themed ones. And when you find one you like, all right, how about that person leaping over the, the bar? Uh, you just tap the download arrow and come out of it. And there it is with everything the way it was as you saw it. And of course, my custom face should still be there too. And there it is. So there, you learned a couple of new tricks already. Works on all Android watches and of course on the S08 and on the Brave. Got it? Good. Okay. So when you swipe down, you get that little thing, um, Bluetooth connection, SIM card if you have it in there. This page, you get that Bluetooth connection, uh, Wi-Fi. By the way, a little trick about Wi-Fi and the Google Play Store. I'll tell you about that when we get to it clean up everything all that's the same music player one more is the weather and then you're back to your watch face notifications up this way is your step count average or, or bar chart per week today's steps distance calories burned all the same over here is the app drawer from contacts Swirl, 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 all the way down to the App Store, which is different than the Play Store. Uh, and then swipe over and you've got your fitness stuff. And just like the S08, it does connect to the um, GPS. So you got GPS on it and everything. We've covered that. We've covered that. I want to go to, uh, I'm not going through everything. Like I said, you can see every one of them individually later. But I do want to pop into the Play Store just to tell you an issue that has been plaguing 
all kinds of Android watches, including yours if you have another one. If you do a factory restore, it restores the original version of the Play Store. And Google made some switch internally to a thing called the Google Play Services. And it kind of messed things up. When you go into the Google Play Store, and of course I can press and hold and touch that, come out of that, and it puts it in a square instead of a circle. You know that trick, right? Um, when you normally would have gone into this, it would come up with a, it cannot connect to server on the Play Store, and you were basically screw, uh, screw, uh, stuck, stuck uh, without being able to use the Play Store to download apps. But there's a bunch of different ways of fixing it, and um, one of them is you tap on the sandwich, of course, after you've logged into the Play Store and everything, and you go down to um, my apps and you just leave it kind of running there and that's how I fixed this one it wasn't working and I just went down to looking at, at my apps to see if there was anything to update and it found and it updated play services in the background and then that updated the Google Play Store and then everything is working just fine so just a little heads up that when you're playing with the Google Play Store if it doesn't work for you right away don't freak out don't mail it back there is a fix there will be an over-the-air update eventually and we'll show you how you check that by going to settings going all the way down to about come in here and make note of your kernel version and build number the dates in here monday may the 18th 2020 come back up here to wireless update you got to be on wi-fi of course check for an update and if there's one waiting it will be downloaded and installed on your watch and that'll fix uh, the issue that uh, has come out related to that play store and maybe other things um, related to the watch if there's any bugs they want to take care of there was no update on this it was all um, up to date but i still had the play store issue and it was fixable through that little uh that little trick of going over to the hamburger and selecting about, you know, my installed apps. Okay, system optimization. You're going to know in here about um, the uh, uh, system work mode. Here's where you can select normal or performance if you're going to be using like YouTube streaming or game playing. But that's going to eat your battery more. Uh, we've talked all about that kind of stuff uh, before and other things. There's these different clean tasks, the battery saver stuff that you can do, on and on and on. Um, and it's all the same in all of these watches. So when you look at any of the other reviews of Android 711 watches, you'll find all of that information there as well across the board. When we come into fitness, you've got the three dots at the top dead giveaway that we have support for GPS, but you need to go to the third tab and turn it on, okay? You need to get back to your watch face and come down and turn it on over here, okay? Do all of that stuff, and then my recommendation has been to go in, come back here, select an outdoor event like a run or a walk or something, and go, get it started. Before you even begin, now that was really quick. You saw the little arrow attempting to grab GPS and it apparently got it and uh, it's running. But sometimes it'll sit there and, and freeze. Okay, by turning on the scanning app. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Okay. Not sure what they're telling us there. But anyway, my advice for you is to go ahead through the whole process of creating an event before you start your real event and make sure that you get GPS to lock up, that you get its timing and everything is working, and then bail out of here, long press it, come in here and delete it, and now you're set. GPS is updated, GPS is locked, all the proper permissions are done. Now when you do it and you hit your go, it's gonna kick in properly. But do the, do the, the preliminary work while you're stretching out to get uh, the, the watch in good condition. Save all of you guys a whole lot of time. We got removable bands. These are TPU bands, uh, easy to replace. Um, you can put in metal ones or whatever you want because the antennas are no longer in the bands. They're actually inside the watch. And of course, it tethers to the Y Watch 2 app. Oh, yay! Don't you guys just love that app? I know. 
I know, but it's the only game in town for the uh, Android watches. Uh, so you're pretty much stuck with it. Uh, so you got to learn to love it. But some of the features that you can do in that app now that you couldn't do before are transfer files back and forth from your phone to the watch or backwards the other way. You can take pictures you've done and send them over to the app over Bluetooth. Of course, you can connect it with the uh, the wire connectivity, this one here with the four pins to the watch and plug it into your computer and transfer things back and forth that way as well. Or use a, a third party app like uh, AirDroid I use commonly, put that in here on your computer and you can transfer things uh, wirelessly over Wi-Fi too, easy to do. Oh yeah, I want to show you one more thing because I know not all of you guys read the tips and tricks that I've got in here. So see the power save that you got to by pressing and holding here? If I come in here, the screen kind of dimmed and it went to these three things, I hit cancel. And now I am in a long-term power saving mode. The watch is only displaying the time. It doesn't turn on when you twist your wrist. It only turns on when you press the button. It shows you your power level and an X to get out of it. But it's a really nice high contrast white against black you can easily see pretty much in any lighting and it gives you watch capability uh, but saves your battery when you exit out of here you're right back to where you started from okay to get back into it again press and hold hit power save cancel and there you go okay are we caught up I kind of think we are. Not much else other than diving in and showing you all the stuff there. So let me remind you that the ROG, ROG, ROG bid, the ROG bid Brave is available from TomTop. And check the pricing. That's a really decent price right now. Uh, compare it with the S08. Check our review on that. Uh, whichever one you decide, they're pretty much identical literally, uh, right down to the watch faces that are on them. So uh, your choice. Uh, TomTop's a great company to work with. We've had them here before and uh, a lot of good reports on their service and whatnot. So up to you. But uh, if you want to buy from these guys, please use our link in the show notes. That helps us out and we'll be able to get more watches to show you in the future. You've been watching us here at Smartwatch Ticks and we appreciate your subscription. And uh, of course, your likes on our video help out too. All right, we'll see you again soon. Well, let me leave you with this. A lot of you guys are wondering, is this thing really waterproof? I mean, they profess that you can dunk it underwater and swim with it even, right? Let's find out. Bring over to Guppies. Hi, Guppies. Get the stopwatch ready. Start it up. Here you go, guys. Have fun. Whoa, look at that. It switched to the timer. That's okay. Let's switch back over. There, okay. The screen is a bit sensitive when it gets wet, but once it gets wet, it's okay. So, a couple of things. Uh, it, this is not, you know, like three meters underwater, but it's a decent uh, test to get it wet. And... If you remember the beginning, the ending of this video is at the beginning. We run it for about an hour and then check it. Also, make note in the show notes down below, I've got a couple of clips to some of the company produced videos where they actually took this thing out and with a professional diver went way down. I don't know, out of sight. I don't know if they went 50 meters, at least 30, I would say. Um, and of course, it's, it's fine. So... Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, really interesting Android smartwatch. One of the first that's waterproof, and we're proving it right here.